So I have a hummingbird feeder and I'm always worried about the, the juice freezing during the winter. And so I was trying to figure out a way to do this. And let's just say this is the hummingbird feeder. It's always sealed, so it's impossible to put any kind of heating element or anything in there. But if you can put something in, you just drop it in like this is a little steel rod. And I'm going to use an induction heater. So this, this heater is just a coil of wire, like, and it doesn't generate, it doesn't get hot, it doesn't generate any heat. So I'll turn on like 12 volts. So there's about 12 volts of power. And now you can see it's on, but it's still, the coil doesn't get hot at all. So this coil right here, would get wrapped around the outside of the hummingbird feeder, just like this test tube. But induction coils will heat anything inside the coil. So if I put this in here, it's just a matter of seconds before that coil gets that rod in there hot enough to boil the water. Now, you don't want the hummingbird juice to boil, but this is just to illustrate the principle that it really does work. Nothing's getting heated except for the rod in there. The coil itself doesn't get hot at all. It's only metal that's put inside the coil. It creates eddy currents, currents that are inside of that wire. This little coil, I have it running at 12 volts. It could run at much lower temperature, lower voltage. It could be hooked to a thermostat. It could be modified to slide on any hummingbird feeder, but it clearly can get hot enough. And again, this doesn't do anything. There's no, it's just a coil of wire. It would heat up any kind of metal that I could put into it. There's no electricity associated to it. It's just heat. So something like this would get hot enough to sizzle in that water. And all you'd have to do is determine how much heat you need to keep it from freezing. There it is.